there's any team in the NFL, um, when you as a player feel like all hope is lost, that uh, you're not sure if you're still going to keep playing or not, you're not sure if you still got it or not, um, Chiefs are the team that will make any and every attempt to try to revive your career or try to see if just squeeze any more juice that you still got left. Uh, we've seen the Chiefs attempt to do this, and sometimes it's been successful. Sometimes, sometimes it hasn't been successful. Uh, with guys like Le'Veon Bell, um, we've seen them do it with uh, Josh Gordon. Um, and more recently, uh, they just recently picked up um, Melvin Gordon uh, and also um, Brian Edwards, too, to their practice squad. And now, uh, so Brandon Williams with him, uh, it was no different. And Brandon Williams, former Baltimore Raven, uh, he was a defensive tackle, interior defensive lineman, uh, run stopper, just more so a, a two down lineman. Uh, you're, in, you're gonna use him on the goal line and stuff like that. But uh, with Brandon Williams, he had a uh, he had a decent career with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, definitely uh, toward his last year there with them last season, um, it was trending downward. And I think everybody knew that he wasn't gonna get re-signed. Um, but it's crazy because I. Uh, I didn't think that it would take this long for him to be signed with a team. I really didn't. I really didn't. But with the Chiefs, I'm not sure what their situation is at defensive linemen. I'm not sure if they just need some help right now. Maybe they're dealing with injuries or something like that. But he he's in the spot. He's in. I mean, he's obviously on the good team, number one in the AFC right now. And, I mean, the Chiefs are so used to being number one in the AFC. It's like second nature for them. Um, but something that I didn't know uh, with Adam Schefter, he actually reported it when uh, this came out yesterday, that um, – Joe Cullen, um, that is, uh, he's, he, he's getting back with him again. Um, and I know Joe Cullen, he was over there with the Ravens uh, for a minute. So I, I had no clue that he was with the Chiefs. So that'll be nice for Brandon Williams. He'll have some familiarity. Um, and it's always nice when you go to a new scenario, but you have a familiar face, somebody that you're comfortable with, because that can help you be even more comfortable in that new scenario. And you know what? Let's read the report. Uh, straight from Adam Schefter, what he said. He's a longtime former Ravens defensive tackle, Brandon Williams, who had been waiting for the right opportunity. Just wait, yeah. He certainly was waiting. We going into, what, week 12, I think? So he was waiting. Um, but was waiting for the right opportunity, like Linville Joseph and Adamic and Sue. Oh, two Eagles. Now, now, you know when he first reported that? When he first said that, I was like, oh, Brandon Williams, he going to the Eagles too? But anyway, um, he is signing with the Chiefs practice squad with the idea of going to the active roster for his sources. Williams reunites with Chiefs defensive line coach Joe Cullen. So that part um, with them signing him to the practice squad, it is such such a low risk. And I'm, I'm glad that the NFL implemented these new practice squad rules, because if you sign in a player, especially at this point of the season, or really whenever, if you sign in a player to the practice squad, those, even a veteran, I, I like that they implemented that rule because now some teams they they can finagle it and whatnot like because you have the you can call the person up to the active roster two times and then after the third time you have to call them up to the uh they have to you got to place them on the active roster or you got to just let them see if they clear waivers if you want to sign them back to the practice squad but I, I do like the rules that they put in place um for the the new practice squad um but it's it's super low risk it's very low risk for the team, you know, for the player, they still get paid. They don't get paid as much, but it's like a tryout. It's like an extensive tryout. Um, so we'll see how Brandon Williams does uh, over there in Kansas City. Going to be interesting to see him uh, on the other side now, just like uh, Orlando Brown Jr. He's done, he's done pretty good overall. Um, I know he had, done had some rough moments or whatnot, but, again, we'll see how Brandon Williams does. So, anyway, Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And like Brandon Williams said to free agency, I'm out.